calcium and magnesium. It's under the peroxide gland. This is the peroxide gland. On here, number 15. Is it right here? This one right here. The depressor is this one right here. It's sort of coming down like from the angle of your mouth. It's coming down like that. So the depth of the depressor angle I always, this is the mesetic. So this here is the mesetic. Anyone else need to see it? The orbicularis oris. Oris is the one that goes around the mouth. Orbicularis means orbit, sort of orbits. So orbicularis oculi goes around the eye. Orbicularis oris goes around the mouth. Both of them close the structures. So orbicularis or oculi would close the eye. Orbicularis oris would close the mouth. Masseter is this one right here. Yes, around. That's a different, that's a levator palpebra superior. So it would be over here. So it would be around the eye, not on the eyelid. And if it was on the eyelid, I would have marked it wrong. Um, temporalis, where would we look for that? Temporal bone, and it's really nice on this side. So this would be the temporalis. This big one is the temporalis. Platysma, neck, very good. So this muscle is like a the superficial thin muscle on your neck. That is the platysma. Sternocleidomastoid. I have to share something with you. My son comes home yesterday, he's 15 years old in high school, and he says, I have to do an S muscle. And I'm like, you need to give me more information. Mm -hmm. So he said there's a T in it. So I said, is it the sartorius? So it sounds right. And then finally at 8 o'clock, he pulls it out of its bag, and it's the sternocleidomastoid. <laughs> <laughs> it says it's an S and a T. Can't you tell what it is? No, you can't. Um, the sternocleidomastoid is actually missing from this muscle, from this specimen. It would be... You can kind of see it on the other side. Yeah, exactly. That's what you use it for, to move your head from side to side or to bring it down when they're both acting together. Um, so it would be a muscle to, it would be something like this. There'd be a muscle that's coming down like this. This would be the sternocleidomastoid. Okay, so that's your neck muscle. Okay, so with that, we finished the head and neck. Does anyone have any questions on the head and neck muscles? So you have two in the neck. They are the platysma and the sternocleidomastoid, and we have a bunch on the face. <coughs> so now we can move on to the trunk. So we're going to have to take another muscle.